Today I'm actually going to VidCon as a featured creator. I'm like, do I even have followers? I'm really, really excited. I feel like I've watched VidCon since I, I don't know, I was young and like living in Michigan. I used to watch all my favorite YouTubers go to VidCon. I always wished I could go to VidCon as like, like a fan and meet some of these people, but I just never had the opportunity to go. And it's absolutely mind blowing that now, a few years later, I'm going and like I have a meet and greet today. I'm gonna be on a panel. And then tomorrow Isaac and I actually leave for Cabo for our baby moon. And Guys, I woke up this morning exhausted. I was supposed to wake up this morning and get a few videos done because I'm gonna be out of town. I just got back from Hawaii. So I just have a bunch of things that I was like leaving for the last minute. And I guess I just like assumed I was gonna have the energy I usually have when I leave things for the last second, but <sighs> being pregnant. Right now, Isaac, Right now, Isaac is actually at 7-Eleven grabbing me a Slurpee because that's the only thing that like really sounds good. And I'm not nauseous. Like I, I made a video on TikTok where I was like, oh yeah, like the only thing I can stomach right now are like chicken fingers. And everyone was like, oh, change your prenatal, change this. It's like, I'm not nauseous. It's just the only thing that sounds good. And these days, if I'm not in the mood for something, it like will make me gag. <laughs> like I'm not gonna eat something I'm not in the mood for it. That sounds super stuck up, but the only thing that sounds good right now at 7 a.m. is a Slurpee from 7-Eleven. So my wonderful husband is going and grabbing me one. I just feel like once I have something like sugary, I'll wake up a little bit. So we'll see how that goes. I'm also not sure how I'm gonna wear my hair. So I'm just kind of curling it. I think I might wear it half up, half down. I just don't have the energy to put into things right now, you guys. I'm getting ready now, obviously. And then at nine o'clock, we're leaving here, heading to Anaheim and very, very happy that Anaheim is only like 30 minutes away from us. That's kind of the schedule for the day. Uh, I have a meet and greet from 12.30 or I have an interview at 11.30 or 11. And then I have a meet and greet at 12.30 to 2.30 at four. I'm gonna be on a panel called Authenticity or TMI. And I was like, that's so fitting for me because you guys know I share a lot of my life. So about the meet and greet, I was actually terrified to do a meet and greet because I'm like scared nobody's gonna come. I don't know, I just feel like when I talk to my camera, I'm like literally talking to nobody. So the fear that nobody will come is definitely still there. We'll see how it goes. Okay, fe Miss Fe Featured Creator. Make sure to check in at the booths. Get the interview. At what point, I'm, I'm not stopping this until you get uncomfortable. I'm not gonna get uncomfortable, I'm a creator. Hannah, say what's up. Hi. Hey, got Marcella. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. The Topa Chico actually kind of sounds good. Allie didn't even realize she had four, she had three security guards around her. It's not for me, it's for the baby. <laughs> this is royalty. It's for the baby. We have royalty in here. That's actually super funny. These boys came out the woodwork. Now, do you think if someone were to try and like touch me, you think they would tackle someone? Listen, if someone tries to touch you, they might as well get out the way because I'm going to handle it. <laughs> Allie, how was it? It was great. <laughs> Thanks for doing the content. That's a good question for you guys. People who obviously do fake pranks, do you think it's real? Oh my god. I think I saw a prank one time where there, someone was like pranking their husband that they threw up on the ground and it was like a plastic piece of throw up. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like I would be in the kitchen like, like concocting like spaghetti. Like I'd be in there. Oh, there's Roblox. Yeah. Gotta go see Roblox. Matt Isaac vlogging in public because there's a bunch of creators around. He would never do this in a typical setting. What? Oh, 